Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Upper Deck Allure Hockey 5 box half case random team break number 9. One spot gets you two teams, so big thanks to this group here for making this happen. Let's double you up like Sir Mix-a-Lot. You're thinking, Joe, if you only sold 15 spots, if you double it up, it's only 30. Aren't there 30, well, there's 32 now, but in this particular year, aren't there only 31 teams in the NHL? You're right. That's why we comboed the Ducks and the Coyotes. Right here, so then it'll make 30. All card ship, let's roll it and randomize names and numbers, or names and numbers, names and teams, three and a four, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. You got Matt down to Walter. Oh, I don't even have this. I was so eager to get this break finished off. I don't even have the spreadsheet set up. There, there's a new spreadsheet right there. All right, three and a four. Lucky seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got New Jersey down to Vancouver. All right, Matt with the Devils, Walter with the Blue Jackets and the Avs, Troy with the Senders, Penguins and Jets, Matt with the Caps, Walter with the Rangers, Matt with the Red Wings and Blackhawks, Troy with the Maple Leafs and the Combo Team, Ducks and Coyotes, Walter with the Sabres, uh, Zach with the Knights, Walter with the Golden Knights, Walter with the Bruins, Troy with the Canadiens, Matt with the Sharks, Mark with the Islanders, Walter with the Flames and the Oilers, Mark with the Blues, Troy with the Hurricanes, Matt with the Preds and the Lightning, Walter with the Panthers, Troy with the Wild, Walter with the Dallas Stars, Zachary with the Flyers, Matt with the with my Kings, nice, and Walter with the Vancouver Canucks. Try to watch more hockey this season, I think. All right, let's alphabetize this by team. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we will have the break. And I'm also going to run and uh, go grab those, grab that case, too. I think that might be a fresh case. Anyway, we'll find out in a moment. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Be right back. Hi, everybody. So while people are trading right now, we're going to see which five boxes we're going to do. So there's a master case, two inner cases. So we're going to select the inner case. We'll do half of that inner case right there. It's a five box break. So we're going to select a die. We'll go with that one right there. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. And it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to save this for next time. So there's Allure so we're gonna, for random team breaks. Pop this case, inner case open. And we're gonna see which, uh, which five we're gonna do here. So there's a column of five right here and a column of five right over here. You can kind of see it on the top camera. One, two, three. Four, five, six for the right side. And it's gonna be, let's pull back here, there's the die, it's one. We're gonna do that side right there. So this side we will save for break, what is this, break number nine? We'll, we'll save that side for break 10. We mark those 10 so we know that they're from the same inner case. All right, any trades? Don't think there's gonna be any trades. 
All right, I think we're going to have to roll. TWC trade window closed. Let's print and rip. There we go. All right, let's take a look at this right here. Thanks everybody for getting in. On a Monday, that's, what am I doing here? Today isn't Monday, today's Tuesday the 19th. Come on, man, I'm losing my mind. Big thanks everybody here, getting into break number nine, appreciate it. I'll have the next side posted, the next five boxes posted after uh, I do this break. All right, excuse me. All right, good luck. Here we go. Yeah, I, I don't know much hockey at all. I don't know when the first product with Kraken players is in. It must be whatever 21-22 product is, whatever the first hockey product is. I'm sure we'll have Kraken players. What's the Series 1 kickoff of the season with the new stuff? But I would imagine here, right? let's, I think we got time. There aren't, I don't see any other orders coming in here. Let's go to, so I would have this link bookmarked everybody, which is the blowout uh, forums thread on new releases. They keep that updated pretty regularly. So for hockey, it's 20, these are all 2021. So the first 2122 product from Upper Deck looks like Artifacts in early December, followed by MVP in late December and Series 1 in late December. But Artifacts in early, unless that gets pushed back, um, but Artifacts might be your first look, should be your first look at, at the Kraken because it's the current season. I do know this guy. There's Alexi Lafreniere. He's supposed to be pretty good. That's going to go to Walter and the Rangers. And we've got the black rainbow parallels here. We've got Connor McMichael, who sometimes I confuse for Connor McDavid. The double rainbow parallels are pretty sharp as well. So the double rainbow is actually on a slightly thicker cardstock. Double the rainbow. No, no worries, Chad. If I were you, I would save up for, uh, I would save up and try to, try. I feel like series one is really where you want to start, start your uh, Kraken collection. And I'm sure, you know, you got to be, you got to be uh, on the site, I think, and try to be quick because I'm sure a lot of people are thinking they want to get the Kraken because it's their first year and all that. Nice. 1949, Leon Dreisettal for the Oilers. That's going to be for Walter in that 1945 NHL Shield parallel. Look at that. 1945 for the 1945 NHL Shield. eBay 101, does that count? I don't know if it does, but but there you go. We got an orange slice die cut for Martin Kaut. Kiefer Bellows and Liam Foudy is our autograph. That's a rookie auto for Columbus. That's going to go to Walter. 281 out of 289, Red Rainbow Auto. 
And there's another Alexi Lafreniere for the Rangers. It's also for Walter. Alex Belzeal. <laughs> but then I've, I've got a lot of friends in the Pacific Northwest, Chad. If I start holding cracking spots for you, I gotta start holding cracking spots for all of our all of our Pacific Northwest buyers. Actually, I'm not I'm not even sure if we're gonna do well, we might. I was gonna say I'm not even sure if we're gonna do pick your teams for series one. That might be like a that might be something that we sell personal boxes for. But maybe we will, I don't know. I'll find out. December's a long ways away. Listen, Chad, if you want, we can we can arrange uh, we can arrange to maybe buy a case for you, and you can, and you can have the entire case to yourself and all the cracking to yourself. No battling with people over uh, over spots. There's Dylan Larkin, orange slice die cut. Now Oliver's wondering if if he were to buy a Kraken jersey, who should he get? There's the black rainbow, Josh Norris. Jordan Bennington. Patrick Kane, and then we've got a Connor McMichael relic for the Caps. That's going to be for Matt. And here's the, oh no, is that the double rainbow? It's not. And there's Gabe Velarde. Grand entrance autograph. I think one of the up and coming Kings youngsters going to Matt, who's got my Kings. Nice green auto. Uh, HP says Giordano. Mike Giordano? Charismatic, Matt says Geeky, or Gord. This is for Oliver's son, who's really into that logo and wants a hockey jersey. His favorite is number five. So yeah, maybe Giordano works. All right, next box. There's a, there a lot of hockey action today. Let's go through some scores. Yeah, Oliver's hockey knowledge is on par with mine. Uh, I'm trying though, Oliver. I think every year I try to watch a little bit more and a little bit more. People, long-time customers will say that my the pronunciation of names have been a uh, pronunciation of names have been a lot better than when I first started doing this. Sabers beat the Canucks 5-2. Sharks shut out the Canadians 5-0. Panthers beat the Lightning 4-1. Devils beat the Kraken 4-2. In a in a shootout, Stars beat the Penguins 2-1. Capitals. Putting, it looks like a baseball score. 6-3 on the Avs. Uh, two goals a period there. Red Wings beat the Blues 4-1. Islanders beat the Blackhawks 4-1. Preds beat my Kings 2-1. I was watching that game. The Kings were ahead 1-0, but then they gave up two goals in the third period. We want, Jason and I watched the end of that game. In OT, uh, Wild 6-5 over the Jets. 
That's a big score. Everyone had the over on that game, right? And Oilers beat the Ducks 6-5. Yeah, HP says, yeah, HP, you've been around for a bit. It's getting better, right? All right. Oh, sorry. I spoiled it. Damn it. I'm done with score. All right, there's Connor McMichael. We've got Red Rainbow. And we got another old NHL shield. Yeah, I won't repeat it. Sorry about that. I, I, I was like looking at the scores and I just saw your comments long after. All right, 39 out of 45, William Carlson. That old uh, 1945 NFL shield. They've got different years, too. I thought that was a good idea. Charismatic's watching the Kraken game on, uh, on DVR, so I don't want don't, to don't spoil it for him. Matthew Kachuk. And we got Thomas Harley, Dallas. That's going to be Walter and the Stars. And it looks like we've got Kopitar started the season off pretty hot. Jason's been telling me. There's Anders Lee. Three color patch and autograph. It's a pretty thick card. Oh, it's a low number. Nine out of ten purple diamond auto patch. I like how Upper Deck puts the uh, parallels, the names of the parallels on the back. One of my favorite things that they do. Is this an HP thing? This is a nice one. Nice. And there's Austin Matthews orange slice die cut for Toronto. And there's Quinn Hughes. Speaking of the Islanders, I uh, over the summer, this was this was a little while ago, but maybe a three, four months ago, but I rewatched that old 30 for 30 on the I, I think we talked about this ages ago, but I was re-watching the old 30 for 30 on how the on how that grifter, that con man, almost or did buy the Islanders and was in control of the Islanders for like a couple weeks or so, at least. Maybe even longer. But that was a wild story. You guys remember that? I, I, I personally don't remember it, uh, when it actually happened in real time. But, um, but yeah, that was a crazy story. I think even non-hockey fans would uh, would be entertained by that by that uh, that little documentary. Some dude basically just the gist of it is he this dude just conned his way into like Long Island high society, and uh, you know and it was just like passing bad checks and blah 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 and this and that and but pretty much like faked his way into getting the documents showing that he had all this money. Every time banks would be like, when are you transferring this money? He would be like, oh, it's, it's coming from a Swiss bank account. And then he'd end up depositing like, you know, $5,000 instead of $50 million or something like that. He's like, oh, my, my assistant forgot the zero. And he would do all sorts of things like that. But somehow got it to a point. It's a wild story. Somehow got it to a point where where he was going to buy the Islanders and and did for and had control of the Islanders for a minute or two. Um, this is at a point when the Islanders were, that's another double rainbow, Jake Evans, were not in good shape. And he had like promised like the franchise, the moon and all this sort of stuff. And the previous owners were willing to sell and, you know, nobody really fact checked much things. And yeah, it was crazy. Austin, Austin Matthews, Black Rainbow for Toronto. 
It's going to go to Troy. Anthony Mantha, orange slice die cut. Alexi Lafreniere, grand entrance. Orange slice, Anthony Mantha for Matt and Detroit. And another Alexi Lafreniere. Carey Price, 27 out of 45. Carey Price for the Canadiens, Montreal. That's going to go to Troy. Another Alexi Lafreniere. It's Quinn Hughes, Red Rainbow. Anthony Mantha and Nicholas Bodine. Uh, that should be for the Blackhawks. Yes, Chicago, Walter. No, check that. Matt with Chicago. 251 out of 299, Red Rainbow Auto. Another Connor McDavid, City Selly insert. I think these look pretty cool. Mark Stone. We've seen some of these autographed. In fact, I think one of the first allure breaks that I did way back when, maybe break one or two, I want to say, I pulled a City Selly Connor McDavid autograph, if I'm not mistaken. This was a while ago, but it was pretty nice. Even I know that guy. And I hope that the uh, that the NHL on ESPN, hopefully that'll help the visibility of hockey even more. And that might make um, collecting hockey a lot uh, a lot better, a lot nicer. TNT's got them too. I think on Wednesday, Boston at Philadelphia on TNT, St. Louis at Vegas on TNT. So there's some like standalone national games, which I think are really cool. Looks like all the games are on ESPN Plus, which most of you probably have. There's ESPN Hulu. I guess NHL Network has some games too. Is ESPN going to do... Are they going to do uh, standalone games on the, on the big network? Yeah, I guess it will have some standalone games. Looks like they're doing Vegas at Colorado on Tuesday night, Tuesday the 26th. So yeah, so they'll have some on the big network as well. So hopefully a little more exposure for hockey. You know, and hopefully that will turn into turn into a little uh, a little increase in value in hockey product. Even even an incremental increase would be nice, and then. You know, over time, there may be some, some bigger increases in secondary market value. All right, final box. There's another Connor McDavid. So, yeah, maybe names like Connor McDavid will become even bigger names. There's Philippe Kurashev, 46 out of 99 green quartz for Chicago for Matt. Mark Stone, City Selly, Gabe Velarde, Victor Soderstrom. There's Mark Giordano, and there's Tyler Benson, Oilers relic for Walter and Edmonton. I don't think I've seen that blue one in a minute or two. There's Alexi Lafreniere. It's an autograph as well. So another Rangers Alexi Lafreniere for Black Rainbow this time for Walter and the Rangers. And a Jersey Auto for Colorado. It's Bowen Byram. 
And Walter has the abs. That's 31 out of 75. Blue line auto jersey. Nice. That looks pretty sharp. All right, how are we closing this out? We got Kopitar. It's looking pretty good so far this season. And that is that, my friends. There you go. 2020-2021 Upper Deck Allure Hockey in the books. That was five box, half case, random team break number nine. One spot gets you two. Second half of this inner case in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll, uh, I'll hockey with you some more next time. Bye-bye.